it's Sarah and I have a small haul for you guys and um, just because I and those of you who watch my videos now I have not been buying crafty stuff at all for a long time I mean what is this this is May um, it's got to be six months I mean that's not to say I haven't gotten a thing or two but no big shopping hauls no big you know um, so this one I really needed some retail therapy today uh, some stuff is going on with my son Matt again I mean he's actually in rehab at the moment I won't get into it too much but um, he had a court date this morning and so I tried to go there and show his intake and all that to the judge and she didn't want to hear it so she issued a summons so that's coming you know it's just one thing after the other uh, it never ends with that but I needed some retail therapy so I've been doing Wonderlust this year Wonderlust is uh, I did what did I do um, well polymer clay adventure uh, I can't think of the one that I did last year Anywho, this is a Kate Crane class that I'm that I did uh, using the brayer to do backgrounds, and they're all right. I can't quite. I'm too heavy-handed. I think I'm going to try another one and really try to go light. Uh, but um, you know, Kate loves the Tim Holtz crayons. And so that was something I was like, well, I should just get them, you know. But I have gelatos. I have oil pastels. I have the Neo Color 2s. Why do I need one more crayon? So I didn't get those. Um, you know, things like that. Then I just did the Diane Reevely class. She ha and her paints. And I always think, oh, well, maybe one day I'll get her paints. Because I'm a decorative painter from you know in the past and I have so many of these craft paints I have tons of them I have a, a thing that hangs on the door downstairs I have two a big spinner and a small spinner in my craft room I have this Rubbermaid drawer behind me filled with this paint so I'm not gonna get the Diane Reevely paint although when you watch her videos you know you want to try it and everything um so that being said, I did go out today and just pick up a few things. Uh, I needed some new, a uni, new Uniball Signo pen. Mine is out of ink, so I bought two. They do sell them at Michael's. I uh, got two of those. I needed a pink archival ink. Let's see. Pink peony. This one's called Magenta Hue. So I think I'm going to keep, this is way too light. I think I'm going to keep this one. Um, what else? I got this stencil just because these are cheap, these uh, folk art stencils. And it's a small pattern. I just liked it because it, it was a small pattern. Uh, I've been working, like I said, with Kate Crane. Just had a class and I love her. And she has a lot of small patterns. She also used these words. This is a Diane... Um, Wakely stamp set by Media Studio oh, Media Studio by Ranger. It came with a stencil. It's not my favorite stencil. And this was very expensive, but I'm sure I used my coupon. It came off this, but it's strong, loyal, bold, brave, fierce, worthy, vivid, spirited, valiant, striking, irresistible. I just I like those words. This is called Gal Quotes. And then it has these gals. So I got it. What can I say? Um, I got two frames because these are only a dollar. And I am going to be working on a project with this that is totally inspired by Diane Salter, who is in this magazine. This is Diane's. I've talked about her before when I've done this style of jelly print art. This is who inspired me to do this the cat especially um, and I have that's a video that I've done in the past if you guys are interested um, I have another piece up on my wall by her but there was a lot a lot a lot of good inspiration in here in this magazine that's what I'm this is called just mixed media and this says display until May 9th so you may still be able to get it 
it was $12.95. I mean, it's a lot, but I haven't been spending the money. And there's a whole spread in here on Diane's work. I'll show you. Let's see. Uh, oh, I really love these are mosaics. And, you know, kind of this is clay. So it just really made me feel inspired when I saw this because sometimes you just need a, a little nudge a jump start to remember what you've been doing or what you've done in the past this looks kind of like art tiles to me and it inspired me it gave me the feeling I wanted to make some art tiles this this is the piece by Diane that really inspired me I got these little hearts yeah they're not the same shape as those but I may use these on um, some tiles We'll see. Uh, and then working with the pewter. See, I don't know if this is, says it's aluminum tape. But I've done all this stuff, and it just reminds me of what I can do again. Now, let me just see. Diane's stuff was right here. Yeah. So these are all Diane Salter's pieces. Um, she does a lot of layering with using jelly prints and acrylic stencils, marking tools. Um, so yeah, stuff like this is just a collage. This one I love. It's just a collage of different jelly prints. And I might have to just try that. Um, you know, so this really helped me. I just sat in the aisle and looked at this for a while and thought, I'm just going to get it and, and just have it on hand, flip through it from time to time to get me inspired. Um, you know, these little folding journals. I haven't done one of these hands, and I've seen them. I've seen people doing them, and I was thinking of doing one with Mendy on it because my granddaughter, Maya's stepdad, is Indian, and she goes to a lot of Indian weddings, and she's always coming home with the Mendy on her hand. Um, and I love it. I actually have some. She gave me some of the stuff. I don't know where it is now. can't find it. Anywho, um, so yeah, that this is helpful, guys. There's beading in here. There's everything so that you, if you, like, look, this is just a collage of different, I don't know. Like, I thought it kind of reminded me of one of these, and then she collaged more stuff on top of it, you know? So I really am going to look at this tonight. I'm going to study it. And I'm just going to see what, what grabs me and um, see if I can get my mojo back. Uh, I also really, 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 what is that? Rolodex cards. I know Lollipalooza has been really going crazy with the whole roll. It's not Rolodex. Hers are, I think it is Rolodex or Index cards. Um, that's like a big thing right now. Uh, tags oh man ATC's so this is fantastic and again it's called just mixed media and it's by just cards that's who put it out so I don't know if it's just a peer like a once a year thing um, www.justcardsmag.com but I really needed I needed to see that because it helped me um, I, so I told you about this stuff. I did get this little, this is a dollar stamp set. I really, really like this. And it is the same as the little stamp set that I used to do this. Um, I, get, I called it a boho little, little design that I did with all the colors. And they have these stamps at Michael's right now. They're in the dollar bin. They come like this. I didn't get another set. But I like this little globe and the compass and it says travel the world the plane's okay but I really really like the globe I thought I could use that in polymer clay or just in a collage of um, like one in ATC so I and it's a dollar so um, but yes people asked me a bunch when I made this little project did I know if they had them anymore and yes they do they have these little stamps the same stamp set that I used to make this uh, little birdhouse. Um, so, oh, and I did get these. And I this was the biggest 
$12.99, but they were 40% off. All of the um, boho themed stuff was 40% off. So I splurged because I'm thinking I might do a, um, a, a frame, a mosaic frame, and use these as, and do all different colors. These colors are gorge anyway, the blue, the green, the pink, and clay. So I would do, you know, maybe not so much the ones that are just frames. It depends. And then I would put maybe a bling inside those. But definitely these, the ones that are more intricate. And just maybe just keep it plain and use um, mica powders and stuff like that on the tiles that I make. So I, I got it. I don't know. I've been looking at it and thinking, you don't need it. You don't need it. But I got it today. So, But I really did need the, um, those of you who don't do mixed media, the Signo Uniball white pigment ink pen is such a great pen for mixed media. It writes all over. So this is like, I can just doodle. See, I couldn't, I ran out of ink. So I think there's, wasn't there some flowers here? Here's a flower. These are, this is just some stenciling that I've done on here that I'm just going to use my, and I still have to spatter, but I ran out of here because I just had to go. I had to go get some retail therapy. Um, sometimes it's like that, you know? I don't, I'm not a shoe shopper. I'm not really a shopper in general, um, unless it's for someone else. I love shopping for other people because uh, I don't know. I don't like making decisions for myself and I never think I need anything, so. But yeah, so anywho. Um, all right, so I will get back to you with some projects. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I could come back and I th that's it because I can't really share. I was going to say one other thing. Um, I, I took classes at Artful Gatherings I think it's about two years ago now. Uh, I did my art dolls with um, Mary Jane Chadborn, and I get a lot of questions about these guys, and it's this. This is the art dolls, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I did take my art doll down off of uh, my Etsy store. Um, I took down all the art doll videos because I went to register for um, get Artful Gatherings again this year and she refunded my registration fee. She didn't even accept my registration fee. So I, I re-registered. <laughs> it's only a $5 registration fee and then you can choose your classes and I really wanted to take a class with Alicia Hart. She's the one who does the um, uh, what is this called? Sorry, I'm, you guys have seen it in, in the past, but the embossing on um, aluminum, or this is, what is this called? Pewter, I'm sorry. This is copper, this is pewter. So she has a class that covers a lot more techniques, and I really wanted to take it. And so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take it. I'm, I'm thinking now I'm going to email um, the company, the woman that uh, runs it, and explain to her that I am not going to be posting any of the videos. Uh, I mean, I don't even know if I can share what I make. Like, I really just don't want to get in trouble. So, um, but yeah. And then I've just looked on Alicia's website and she has such cool classes available. She lives in Calgary, Canada. And I'm actually thinking of signing up and going to, to Canada 
and taken a seminar like maybe a, over a weekend or something with her um, but I would prefer to do it online uh, but I do love taking online I mean um face-to-face -face classes as well so uh, anyway that I was I was saying that because I'm really new to well it's been four years now right that I've been posting videos um, I came from decorative painting so I wasn't used to all the copyright stuff that people get very upset about if you share things that you've learned in a class because I as a decorative painter would always you paint what they tell you to paint and so I don't know it's a different ball game when you do decorative painting than it is to I guess the techniques that you learn at a, at a mixed media class or you know so anywho I just don't want to be in trouble but if I haven't taken the class how can I get in trouble but like so that's why I, I got this frame because Alicia has done on her website you can see the um, a picture of the class where they did a tin tile and polymer clay tiles and a tin tile so tin tiles in the corner and polymer clay tiles to fill in and beads and everything else so a mixed media mosaic but with her with her techniques as well and so you know of course I want to do that I've been doing the mixed media um, polymer clay frames which by the way here's one right here I need to post this in my Etsy store um, so it's it's along these lines so you just you create tiles and then once all your tiles are, are completed you then create a mosaic using those tiles so this one is my boho um, picture frame and I love it and when I make these things each each one is my baby so I kind of hold on to them for a little while but um, I do feel like I need to purge some things and then I'll need to recreate them you know um, when they're not here anymore I'll be like wow I don't have anything like that so um, you may look for or I'll come back and let you know when I do post some stuff in my Etsy store um, Anywho, I guess this is going on a little bit now, but uh, that's it. My creative process is kind of all over the place right now. So I, I hopefully will come back with a project um, and something that I can absolutely share with you that I haven't learned from a class. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.